Hey guys, it's Rainy. So today I have a bit of a longer one. I have two home decor ideas. So I'm going to start with the easiest one. I printed an H and an O for ho ho ho. I actually printed this bigger at the end and I'm going to have the image of this on my blog if you want to go for this like exact font, but I'm going to be cutting it. For the O, I'm not cutting the uh, like the part in the middle. I'm just cutting like a circle. I'm going to be tracing this onto a piece of cardboard. And again, I'm going to be cutting this. The reason I used cardboard, by the way, is because for the next step, it's going to be much easier to work with cardboard than with a piece of paper. Then I'm going to be using this piece of plaid pattern fabric and I'm going to be using foamy paper. I'm going to be gluing this with some white glue, like school glue, like with a brush. And then I'm going to be adding some glue on top just because I'm going to be cutting this and I need the fabric to be stable. And so that's why I covered it with glue. I'm going to be cutting the H and O again, taping this with some double sided so it doesn't move while I'm cutting it. Again, the O is pretty much a circle. Feel free to cut like the part in the middle. I just didn't have a tool to do it to make a little perfect circle in the middle, like a punch cutter or something like that. And for my age, the outside is going to be like with the like regular scissors. And then the inside, I'm going to be using this like detail scissors. I call them daintier because they are like more delicate. I found it at like the beauty section of the drugstore. And they are just to cut out, I think, like to trim your eyebrows or just cut fake eyelashes and stuff like that. They are sharper and they are just perfect to get into those inside corners of like the edges. Then I'm going to be separating the cardboard from like the O's and the edges and I'm going to be doing this six times because I'm going to be using them twice for two bottles which I'm going to be recycling clean empty bottles of wine if you are underage or if you are not a wine drinker you can get them online but first I'm going to be painting my bottles with white acrylic paint feel free to use like white spray paint but to me I find this method more relaxing and easier to just paint because sometimes I find messier to just paint with spray paint outside then I'm going to be using this of white acrylic paint. I customized it myself. I do have a DIY showing you how to make this. Giving this to the tree coats until it's covered. Then I'm going to be gluing my ho ho hoes like vertically using my super glue. Then as a final step, I didn't show you this part because I completely forgot to like record the whole thing, but I added two coats of this gloss spray or gloss paint or yeah, I don't know if it's paint, if it's gloss. And this is pretty much what they look like. And I just placed them with this Christmas tree picks. I got them off of Amazon. I do have the review for them. Now let's move on to the second project, which is my gingerbread man. For this, I printed this. It's not huge, but it's big template of a gingerbread man. And I divided it into four or four pages, which I'm going to link below alongside with my HO cutting this, taping this all together with my wrap tape. I actually just did a review on this one if you want to check it out. Now I'm going to be using this polystyrene foam. I never know how to pronounce that word, but this kind of foam, like the thicker, but it's not like super thick a foam. This one looks like it's really gross and moldy. It's not moldy by the way, it's just some leftover um, black paint and glue actually, because I'm recycling this one. But I'm going to be using this because it still works. Placing my gingerbread man on top and then just trace the shape. Pretty random using like some pink uh, sharpie. I couldn't find anything else, but it doesn't matter because we're going to be cutting this. Using my cutter, working on the edge of my table, it's actually really easy. Just make sure your cutter is sharp enough and I found this part pretty relaxing. I'm going to be using some more foamy paper, two more, and I'm going to be gluing them on top of my gingerbread man. This is because I want a smoother surface because I'm going to be painting this. Gluing this across, turn this upside down and I'm going to be cutting a bit of excess in there that I don't need because I need those leftover. Uh, to cover some of the parts that didn't get covered by my foamy paper sheets. Feel free to use like a bigger foamy paper than gluing those. Once it's dry, I'm going to be taking this other, I call all my detail scissors like dainty scissors because they are like more delicate for more delicate jobs. And I'm going to be removing like the excess foamy paper, cutting as close to the edge as I can. Then I'm going to be measuring the thickness of my gingerbread man, tracing those measurements onto another foamy paper sheet, marking three dots and then connecting the dots because I'm going to be making a bunch of stripes to just cover those edges, cutting those stripes and then just gluing them all over the edges. Now when I glue them, 
I just added a lot of like glue on the edges just to make sure the edges stay together and so when I was painting this I'm gonna show you in a minute what acrylic paint I used to paint this with I like the effect that the glue on top of my foamy paper has I think it's because foamy paper is quite porous so I just added a layer of glue with my brush but then to paint this I'm using this anti cooper acrylic paint and yeah first I covered the whole thing with a brush covering the edges as well and then I went with a, a round sponge like for finishing touches to cover this in circles didn't do much at all but yeah I did that then I'm gonna be going back to my pattern and I'm just cutting like the details of my gingerbread man tracing those details on some leftover foamy paper and then just cutting that then I'm gonna be painting those details with my white green and red acrylic paints most of them are gonna be white but my three circles in the middle are gonna be fun and colorful one is gonna be green the other one is gonna be red painting the edges as well and the other one is gonna be a leftover o that i have i'm just gonna be painting the edges of it in the same color of my gingerbread man i'm gonna be placing them on top before i glue them just to get an idea of where i want the whole thing to be before i glue it and to glue them i just first use some uh, super glue before i run out but this is great just to show you that you can use um, white glue as well and I also painted the, the back black just because nobody's gonna be really seeing the back but yeah this is pretty much what this one looks like I think it looks so cute and just festive I think it's gonna be looking better if you can get bigger size of foamy paper just so that you don't see the lines separating each like foamy paper but I think it looks really cute anyways but yeah I really hope you like this I had so much fun making them they kept me busy for sure but I love the end result and hopefully you like them too and if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share this i have more christmas stuff and christmas decorations on my channel but yeah thanks so much for watching merry christmas i hope you have an amazing time i'll talk to you later and take care bye